So the very specific type of equation, the, the quadratic, way, comes from one basic idea. If you've got two things multiplied together to give zero, one of those things has to be zero. It's the only way it could happen. So that's the idea. Multiplies together to give 18, adds together to give nine, is of course six and three. So we think, we don't write, we think, oh, x plus 6 is equal to 0, therefore x is negative 6, or x plus 3 equals 0, therefore x is negative 3. Uh, I put this one in just to remind you, just because one factor is x, don't forget it, it's still a possibility in that one that x is equal to 0. It's amazing how often you see people forgetting the x equals 0 solution on that one. Uh, maths, if there's a pattern, then we're going to use it. Good old quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Can save ourselves a lot of time. So we try and factorise it. Hmm, what multiplies together to give negative 8? Adds together to give 5? Uh, oh no, too tricky. Don't waste time. Okay? You spend a bit of time looking for factors. If you can't see it, go straight to the formula. Because that's going to get it. So 25 plus 32 is 57, and that's why we couldn't find the factors, because we don't know what the square root of 57 is. So we get negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 57 all over 4. That, of course, is an exact answer. And in maths, we like exactness. And so we, we're quite happy with that. Go to your science teacher. They don't like that. They like approximations. So if they ask me to do it to a couple of decimal places, then okay, I'll go and work it out. But as I say, in maths, we tend to stick with the exact answer unless they ask us otherwise. Again, why give yourself more work? Make x the subject in this particular equation. Well, really, it's just a quadratic equation. And so we rewrite it so it looks like a quadratic equation. Y, as far as we're concerned, is just a number. So x equals negative b plus or minus square root of, uh, but we've got a common factor there of 4, and we know the square root of 4. And now 2 goes into everything, so we get negative 4 plus or minus, oh no, hang on, 2 will cancel. There it is, x is negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 7 plus y. Anyone know what's happened there? I mean, if I was to draw y equals x squared plus 4x minus 3, I would, of course, get problem x equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 7 plus y. What's happening there? What makes some sense out of that? What is it saying? So, sorry, say it again. Um, is it like each root half the problem? Yeah. What else can you tell me from that though? Another important feature of a parabola. I'll take your word on the y value there. I was going to say the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. But of course the vertex does lie on the axis of symmetry. And so that's what it's really saying is you've got the axis of symmetry is negative 2 plus and minus, because it's symmetric, the same amount, the square root of, of 7 plus y. All right, 1f. We'll have a look at questions from there.